Welcome back to the Millennial Mentality Vlogs. Woo! This is our vlog, guys. In this vlog, we are going to be going to Danny Susie's fight. Fuck yeah. At Renegades. Uh, we can't wait to see how he does. Yeah. Um, we have all the faith in him. He's got an iron chin. He's got the street. Knockout tread. artist. Yeah. And we're really excited to see Danny. If you're watching us, we love you, bro. Full support. For sure. And uh, yeah, we are going to cut now to uh, Pete's. We're going to be getting ready there and then heading over to Renegades. Fuck yeah. Right now. Eat. Hey guys, welcome back to the Millennial Mentality Vlog. Boom, bang, we're back. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, Ron Weasley 2.0 is on my face right now. You're wondering why it's pretty dark out. Uh, one reason, I'm hungover as fuck. And reason number two, I feel like it's cool to wear them inside sometimes. I feel like I run a club and that's the cool thing to do. Welcome back to the vlog. This is our second vlog we're doing. We're going to see Danny Susie's fight tonight. Pete's behind the camera. Pete, turn to yourself. Eww. And uh, we're gonna go see Danny fight, whoop some ass, see that iron chin he's got, and, uh, and we're really pumped. Uh, thank you guys for watching, listening, viewing, and subscribing. If you have not done that yet, please do. Uh, we love giving you guys this extra content and seeing us outside of the studio itself. Um, I guess we got Bruce here today too. By the way, Bruce, Bruce uh, IQ is 186 and probably the smartest dog on the planet. Oh. Uh, we have to go. Sorry, mom, I'm gonna have to call you back later. Pete, uh, let's pan to Renegade. Boom. All right, guys, you're gonna have to excuse Nick for his attire earlier. I don't know what he was thinking, but we, uh, we're coming correct now. Accidentally matching, but it is what it is. We're, uh, we're gonna send it in here. <laughs> we're, at, uh, we're at Renegades. Shout out Renegades. Haven't been here since I was a JIT. Um, and the place looks like it's fucking booming. So uh, this will be interesting, our very first time taking the camera in public and I think there's gonna be a lot of fucking witnesses so hopefully we don't make a fool of ourselves Nick how you feeling? A little juicy, a little juicy a little juicy Nick got sauced last night so I know he's lying he's not feeling juicy he's feeling shitty but we'll fix that bro are you going to hair the dog? is that the plan? a little bit, a little bit you got no choice I don't think alright guys we'll check in when we get in there alright the boys are warming up Shit. Oh, Going down shit. tonight, boys. You already know. We're riding. Alright, so we're out here. This shit's pretty fucking crazy, actually, man. It's pretty dope. They've got like a real ring, a real setup, and uh, these boys are throwing hands. It's People no are joke. throwing punches. Yeah. They're not fucking around. This shit's gonna be crazy. Can't wait for Danny to get up there. Let's go, Danny. Eat.
kill these niggas, boy. Look. Yeah. It's not, nigga. Uh, I've been outside, I'm just trying to get it Cause when you only fear God, boy, the sky's the limit Got me speeding through this life, going 200 a minute Probably sliding with them packs and something nice that's tinted And if that little bitch a foreign, that little Nara was in it And I know them boys talking like all that rented We'll come and rent it for a minute, bet it cost you a ticket Trying to double up them racks, dog. that's just how I'm living Look, exclusive lifestyle, my dog, he been pumping it Grinding seven days a week, that young boy hustling We can slide the bins, slide the euros at a color in had these niggas bitches wildin' out on some other shit We just want the bag, screamin' M.O.B. like fuck a bitch uh, Millennial mindset, tattoos in the podcast Ask you what you tryna do, but you ain't got the time yet My dog up two hustles, you ain't on your ground yet Like how I'm still up and ain't get paid for my rhymes yet I guess it ain't time to sign on that dotted line yet It's cool, I deal with straight cash, I rarely use a sign check Really need that rollie for my wrist for the time check Cause all I'm ever into is getting money and having bomb sex But just for a second, dog, don't take this out of context Just because I'm Short, no, don't think I got a complex When you hear my music, I promise you're gonna say I'm next I know these niggas hating, they gon' treat this like a contest So I'ma spit them bars that oppress a nigga conscious Cause one thing's for sure and another's for sure That I'm in love with the grind and now I'm constantly working I can't chill till I'm in that triple limb with the curtains Got me fucking up that sack for the days I was hurt But I still don't trust too many cause these niggas be serpents Soon as you show a little love, you can see them get nervous So I'ma treat them like my ops and I'ma roll them up perfect Perfect Yeah yeah, bitch, yeah. It's not all, nigga. Holla at me. Woo! That's the energy, though, right there, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, cry with me. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Pour juice inside the soda, turn it over, watch it sink. Yeah. Sometimes it might be purple, sometimes it might be that pink. Probably roll that purple diesel, that shit cute like my lace. But I really like that Cali, cause that shit don't make me trip. Uh, rather flip a boat, but nigga, I still serve a zip. I remember being broken, I was down bad on my dick. And she used to call me Ollie, now the shawty let me hit. Wait, well, maybe it's just Polly, got a nigga confident. Uh, remember all them dreams that I had when I was a jit. They're like, yeah, I love the streets, but I'ma still gon' go legit. Cause you know I need that German with that brand new fucking tip. Fell in love with them foreigns, watching a nigga your step. Got me feeling like I'm hardened, cause I'm plugged in with the rep. That, like, if you touch me wrong, you might get hit with this tech. Uh, let them birds fly like a nigga cross the west. And I swear they broke my heart when I seen them. But that shit, it made me strong, now I'm right back on my best. Like, like bitches, leave me alone while I get lean on this tip. Like, like, little bitches, leave me alone, let's you go to try that neck. Like, little bitches, leave me alone, let's you talking about a check. Fight just Woo! finished with Danny. We are back at this uh, the studio now. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, Danny did not win, but um, respect for stepping respect in there, for dog, stepping dog. Like that's something ninety nine percent of people don't have the balls to do. It's a lot of balls, man. And, I don't. I wouldn't want to be in there. But bro, would you get in that ring? What, Absolutely. What would it take to get you in? There? A lot of money. Yeah. Um, and a shout out to Renegades in the I think it's XFN. Uh, yeah, that's it, right. It, it was an impressive setup. Impressive it setup. It was really dope. Uh, if you guys are fight fans and want something local and don't want to you know break your bank, uh, tickets started at thirty five to forty five dollars in that range to go mm-hmm. watch local fighters fight. And those are hungry dogs, man. They yeah. they go at it. It is it's intense and it's fun to watch it live. Yeah. They threw a great event and uh, shout out to them. Yeah, um, it was pretty impressive. They did a good job. Yeah, I was. We went. We, uh, you know, on the way there, we were like, we had no clue what to expect. Fairly nervous, kind of going into it, just because it was so foreign. I had the butterflies going yeah, in yeah. there. You know, I'm not even fighting, and exactly. I, I felt nervous. Um. So shout out to Renegade. Shout out to XFN, and shout yeah. out to Danny Susie for getting in, buddy. You you busted ass, and uh, it's just a start for you, man. We're we're yeah, excited. Yeah, 100. Um, I'm glad I got to see him clean somebody's clock by the end of the night, though. Yeah, yeah, that's low key, Danny. So, someone was talking a little bit of shit. Danny had to straighten that out, right? If after you the know, fight. you know. Yeah, um, that was good shit. A few exciting announcements, guys. Yeah, uh, big shit coming. So, first thing I want to start off with is December fourth, from seven to ten p.m. at four, we're going to be having a. Chari- and just to clarify, not at 
not at four o'clock. Yeah, Seven yeah. to ten p.m. at the the place four in downtown West Palm Beach. For those of you who don't know, the, the bar four. Yeah, right, yeah, the yeah, bar yeah. four. That it sounded a little confusing. Yeah, yeah. Seven to ten at four. Absolutely. So four is right next to. It's sistered up to one, two, three Dentura. Right. Um, and uh, it's all under the same umbrella. But we are going to be going to four. And from 7 to 10, all the proceeds will be going to a local uh, nonprofit foundation called The Hangry Project. Yes. Uh, and we're going to have more information on The Hangry Project and what their mission is and what they're doing. But it's supporting local. It's supporting nonprofit. Yeah. And it's really helping affect kids. Um, and, uh, and, and, and basically the point of the nonprofit is to go into local parks, skate parks, and areas where kids spend a good amount of time at. And... Uh, and they're, they're not on the streets. They're in the parks. They're being productive. And, and they're ma- filling fridges at these skate parks. Exactly. So that the kids, you know, a lot of the times these kids don't have food at home. You Correct. Know, or, you know, not like a great living situation at home. So they're spending all day at the skate park. And that's their safe space. That's you know? their safe space. But, you know, that being said, kids got to eat, especially when you're out in the Correct. sun and skating all day. So the Hangry Project is joining or partnering up with these skate parks, putting fridges at the skate parks, and then filling those fridges with food. Correct. With our donations. Brad runs the organization, and we've talked to him just a little bit. I think we're going to have him on the podcast, but mm-hmm. uh, amazing what he's doing. If yeah. you want to check him out, uh, the Instagram is the Hangry Project, and uh, we'll tag him in. But yeah, guys, so it's going to be a fundraiser from 7 to 10 at 4. Please tell all everyone you know. If anything, you know you're coming out and supporting a local cause. It's going to be fun as fuck, too. But Don't get it fun. twisted. It's not going to like some stuffy event. It's going to no, be fucking fun. No, we're going to be going hard. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're going to try to get every guest that's been on the podcast there. So if right. you really like someone's vibe or someone's message that came on, they're most likely going to be there. Yep. Um, and uh, everyone, you know, from the artists to the DJs to the rappers to the entrepreneurs that we've had on here. That's quite the uh, the list of guests. Huh? It is. That's cool. It is. And uh, and yeah, guys, like I said, it's going to be a party. It's going to be a blast. Please tell everyone you fucking know. I want to raise so much money for this organization. Hell yeah. um, and I want to just con- continue to spread our message in, 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 and, uh, in, in uh, coordination with the uh, 123 Edentura and that hospitality group as well. Hell yeah. So December 4th, December 4th, December 4th, 7 to 10, be there. Be there. Second announcement. Uh, we are dropping... A clothing. Hey. So we're doing a clothing drop. I will start wearing my shirts more often, but it's okay, Nick. Uh, I forgive you. Yes, we did. We did match last. Uh, not last night. Tonight on the vlog. Yeah. Um, wardrobe change. And uh, and we're really excited about it, guys. Uh, we have five different designs coming out. Some are a little more risque. Some are more a little bit more practical and and uh, motivating. Mm-hmm. Motivating, but. Uh, we are trying to uh, just kind of continue to spread our our image and yeah. uh, grow the brand. Grow the brand, and the, the, one of the best ways to do that, I believe, is through merchandise. So yeah. we're uh, we're dropping these five designs. Pick your favorite one. Yeah. If you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a partner, and you want to get them a Christmas gift, and right, it's that time. Exactly. So we're going to be releasing the dates of the drop, but with that, we're going to be doing a drop, and then our goal is to uh, the pickup date of the merch to be at the event December 4th from 7 to 10 at 4. Right. So we, we haven't decided the date for the drop yet. We'll, we'll figure that out soon yeah. and we'll make the announcement. The merch is only going to be available for 48 hours. Correct. Right? We agree on that? Correct. It's pretty limited supply. We only ordered 20 of each design in various sizes. So it's pretty limited. If there's something you like, snag it. Don't wait because there's only a handful of each design in each Correct. size. Um, and they're only going to be available for 48 hours. So yeah. after that 48 hours is up, whether we have inventory or not, the website's coming down. Correct. Um, so snag them while we got them. And then, like Nick's saying, uh, there will be an option for you to have it shipped to you if you'd like. But the, we'll bring all the merch orders with us to the party at 4 on December 4th yeah. so you can pick it up locally. So to you guys, you know, you avid listeners and for you first-time listeners or everyone in between, um, we're, we're starting to do things now within the community where if you want to show up and show your support and show your love, these are really ways to, to support us. Um, yeah. Again, we don't really ask for much, but we, we really want to continue to grow the brand and grow our image. And these are pathways to do that. Yeah. Um, and we want to elevate this podcast too, you know? Like yeah, exactly. This has been a passion project for us and we exactly. really love doing it. But obviously... Uh, we're not made of money, no. you know, yeah. and um, we'd love to put more into this and, you Correct. know, get a better set, get a better camera equipment, multiple angles, things yeah, like yeah. that. We've got a lot of, we've got a big vision for this thing, Correct. you know, and um, we just want to make sure that we can keep this project exactly. going. Exactly. Uh, and get some type of cash flow going. That's yeah. really it. Yeah. And then the last thing is we are going to be starting a Patreon. 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 Kind of on page. that same note, yeah. you know. Um, and again, we're not, 
I really want to like stray away from feeling like we're selling out right yeah, now, yeah, you yeah. know, because um, we're not guilt tripping anyone yeah. to go be a part of our Patreon. Uh, those of you who really fuck with us, really support the podcast, your love and support is doing plenty. You yeah, know, yeah, we, yeah. we appreciate that. But if you are someone that wants to take it a step further and support us financially, uh, we are starting a Patreon page yeah. where we'll be offering exclusive content, bonus footage, behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Um, and if for those of you who aren't familiar with Patreon, it's basically like a platform where you can do a subscription, like a monthly membership at five, ten, or twenty dollars, and each tier uh, comes with different benefits. Correct. You know, so like your five dollar tier is you know just behind the scenes or bonus footage, maybe early access to an episode. Our twenty dollar tier is all of those other things, you know. Plus, we might throw in some free merch, um, and all sorts of bonus content, you know. So the value of what we're doing will be there. Just know that, guys. We always yeah, go, right. we always go above and beyond with whatever we do. Yes. Um, but these were all concepts we've had for a while, but we wanted to get the podcast to a point where it was consistent, it was regular, um, it it it. it started automating itself mm -hmm. and then we want to start spicing things up doing different things being out in the community doing more vlogs and things like that yeah. uh to bring a different angle and not just you know always be in uh, you know in set on studio um so those are the three pillars guys again if you have any questions dm us text us uh you know we, we want to answer everything but these are uh, three ways where you can really support us. So just to recap, first one is December 4th. It's a Saturday night from 7 to 10 p.m. Yep. at Four Night Club. Uh, and that joins right next to 123 Dentura, right next to ER Bradley's on that strip right there. Um, the second one being we're dropping some merch. We're going to be giving those dates. It's going to be a 48-hour drop. So get that merchandise while it's there. Um, it's it, only going to be available for 48, 48 hours. hours. After we're that, we're taking it. it down. Correct. We'll wear all the shirts. That That's right. Sell. I swear <laughs> That's to God. Right. And then uh, lastly, guys, we're going to be start, starting. I can never say it right. Patreon. Patreon. You Patreon. did good. That was good. Um, for those people who want uh, you know, more of an insight to our day-to-day -day lives, we're going to be filming the guests when they first get here and after the podcast yeah. to kind of get a different glimpse of them um, off camera. There's always some juicy behind the scenes That's shit right. that we don't get on That's the pod. Right. And, uh, and as we always say, guys, thank you so much for uh, the support. Yes. You know, we're not blowing up. We're not getting clout or famous. We're or, 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 organically growing our brand. Yes. And, uh, and that being said, the subscribers have slowed down quite yeah, a bit the last true. few weeks. I'm not complaining, just an observation. So if you're watching this right now and you like what you're watching and you have not already subscribed, please consider please do. doing so. And I think it's also an age thing. Like, uh, you know, the your Gen Z and the younger millennial, the real young millennials understand how that kind of that platform works with subscribing and liking right, right. and all that stuff and how that algorithm works where for millennials, it's like, you know, in, in our age bracket that we're really hitting, it's like, you know, fuck it. I don't, you know, and, and they I was, always post it on their exactly. story. I'll know when yeah, they, when they, they yeah, upload exactly. something. Right. But, you know, if you don't want to go drop some money on the Patreon, you don't feel like dropping bread on the merch, but you want to support the boys, subscribing is a great way it to is. do so without having to affect your wallet. It is. So, guys, that is it uh, for our vlog. We did everything from watching Danny fight. We had our few announcements. We went over Pete's and saw Bruce. Yeah. And, uh, and as always, guys, thank you for the love and support. It means the world. Yes. We will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. That's the energy, though, right there, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, cry with me. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Pour juice inside the soda, turn it over, watch it sink. Yeah. Sometimes it might be purple, sometimes it might be that pink. Probably roll that purple diesel, that shit cute and like my lips. But I really like that Cali, cause that shit don't make me trip. Uh, rather flip a boba, nigga, I still serve a zip. I remember being broken, I was down bad on my dick. And she used to call me Ali, now the shawty let me hit. Wait, well, maybe it's just Polly, got a nigga confident. Uh, memo all them dreams that I had when I was a They're like, yeah, I love the streets, but I'ma still gon' go legit. Cause you know I need that German with that brand new fucking tip. Fell in love with them foreigners, watching a nigga girl step. Got me feeling like I'm hardened, cause I'm plugged in with the breath. That, like, if you took me wrong, you might get hit with this tech. Uh, let them birds fly like a nigga causing rest. And I swear they broke my heart when I seen them. But that shit, it made me strong, now I'm right back on my best. Like, like bitches, leave me alone, why I get linked on this tech? Like, like little bitches, leave me alone, lest you gonna try that neck. Like, little bitches, leave me alone, lest you talking about a check. check, check. Boy, deuce inside the soda, turn it over, watch it sink, yeah Sometimes it might be purple, sometimes it might be that pink Probably roll that purple diesel, 
good, that shit Cuban like my legs But I really love that Cali, cause that shit don't make me trip Boy, dudes inside the south to turn it over, I just say Yeah, sometimes might be purple, sometimes it might be that pink Probably roll that purple diesel, that shit Cuban like my legs But I really love that Cali, cause that shit don't make me trip yeah.